good morning to my soul family. Um, I am going to read, these are the unicorn cards, and these are the angel cards. I'm going to read a few of each of them. Let's put that right there over the love. Okay. So, these paintings that you see in the background are paintings that I have painted. And that's one of my uh, creating passions. Okay. Okay, so we got three of them, and this is just a daily reading for the collective for everybody. It's ask, and it says, ask us to help you with this situation, and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We've governed, we've governed by many universal laws, and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. Basically, you need to ask your angels for help. They're there, and they will help you. All you have to do is ask. The next one is energy work. Life can be electrifying because its very essence is energy. Your body is a remarkable energy field that will posi positively respond to loving treatments. Your hands and your heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. And energy work. And the third one message for today um, is let your past go. The burden of carrying, of carting your past around has made you, made you wary. Dear one, it's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want, you don't want it or need it. And it is now gone. Okay, those are the angel ones. Put those right there. And these are the unicorn ones. The reason why I put it, I painted this, and it says love, is because as long as you do everything or things with love, with the intentions of love behind it, then a lot more happiness and joy comes out of it. And sometimes, like I have... I have my drink, and sometimes I'll just set it right here on the love, because water has holds memory, and these bottles of water get produced from the manufacturer, and then it will imprint, like if, say, somebody's having a bad day or whatever, it'll get imprinted in the water, and if I just like, stick it right there on the love, then it's putting that love into it, and then when I drink it, that love that's being imprinted into the water gets put in my body. These cards are a little bit bigger and harder for me to shuffle, but we got it. The first one we got 
and this is just still a daily reading for the collective for everybody if it resonates with you then take it and use it if it doesn't then it wasn't meant for you but if the video popped up and you clicked on it then usually there's a message in there for you um this one is intention and it says be clear and decide and dis and decisive focus on what you really want be behold with your request to the universe and that's intention oops this one is magic and it says make a wish believe in miracles magic surround you we all have magic around us um, a lot of society has said that magic is bad and this and that but um, everybody's on their own spiritual path and so magic could be in a form of many different ways and this one is miracles and it says have faith that your miracle is on its way your prayer has been answered surround the how so um i will be learning more about those and then i do have these um these are a lot harder and a lot more sophisticated on reading these um but like see see how more in detail it is it's almost like they spent more on the details of the book than, and these are the cards see so I got them because I like Alice in Wonderland. I always put on my Facebook how I went down the rabbit hole to Danielle's Wonderland. Um, we each mirror our, what's going on around us. And um, so, so for like this one, it says Eight of Pentacles. Uh, and then I figure out <laughs> where they are right here. That's wands. Cups. Swords. Um, pentacles. Okay, so, see, same card. I'll read all this to you. It's kind of a lot, so I have to, in between learning and researching for my Inner Child 3 group, where I put free tools and um, e-books with downloadable links so you can have the free e-book for your own healing. I also post videos from YouTube from different people that I use for my own personal healing. So it says... Through the looking glass. In the text, the White King is often silly and inferential, but it is not always his fault. When Alice is invisible and inaudible in the looking glass drawing room, she notices the king is using a large pencil to make a note. A sudden thought struck her and she took hold of the end of the pencil which came same way over his shoulders and began writing for him. The poor king <clears throat> struggled with the pencil for some time and at last he painted out my he panted out my dear I really must get a thinner pencil I cannot manage this one this one a bit it writes all manner of things that I don't intend whether 
the king continued trying to write the text doesn't say and Alice soon leaves the room shortly to roam the garden however the king seems like a committed fellow and it is easy to imagine him laboring diligently with his unwelding pencil eventually his letters and words will come out exactly as he intends and see how he's drawing them okay and then it says down the rabbit hole in a reading this card shows the rewards of hard work and diligent practice in our world of hacks and instant experts the tradition of dedication to honing a craft has fallen out of favor however it seems that our infrustration with fast and good enough is finally weighing and we are starting to rediscover the joys and satisfactions of high quality work and polishing skills this card shows the single most important way to achieve that practice materials and teaching will only get us so far hands-on experience and making lots of mistakes are the best way to become really good at anything including by the way reading tarot okay that's not a message by me, for me or for the collective keywords is work skill craft craftsmanship art Artisan, diligent, dedication, focus, drive, determination, steady, progress, satisfying, work, attention to detail. So, um, eventually, like I said, I'll be reading these once I get more familiar with them. So... There's your message for today. I hope you guys have a blessed, happy, loving, positive light day. And remember to keep your mind expanded with unlimited possibilities of what ifs. Have a great day. Love you guys. And then these are my paintings. I painted that. And then I painted this. It's a crystal with a rainbow bridge being poured down into the crystal and then it goes down into the earth and then into the different things and then these are organites that my adopted dad he's my daddy um made and these are crystals that i make into necklaces and then just my stones gemstones um and of course my pyramid copper <laughs> and another picture that I made so have a blessed day love you guys